Question four then from paper two, the 2021 Higher Maths Resource paper, seven marks for lines in a triangle. So that's the usual one, isn't it? Find one type of line, another type of line, and then a point of intersection for the seven marks. Part A says, the line L1, and it's not shown here, so you have to construct this yourself, as you should, is the altitude through B, which means it comes from B to the opposite side and meets it at right angles. Find the equation of line L1. So that would be L1. I'll give it its name, L1. Now, to get the equation of a line, you need two things. A point on it. Well, I've got that. I've got the point B and its gradient. But you can get the gradient from AC because that's related to it. It's perpendicular. So the first thing is going to be what's the gradient of AC? Well, that'll be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Or you could write difference in y, delta y over delta x. So going from A to C, that's negative 5. You can do it either way around. I just tend to stick in the order of going in the direction of the x-axis. Negative 5, take away 1. Over 4, take away negative 5. So that's a negative 6 upon a 9, which means the gradient of AC is negative 2 thirds. That gets a mark. Now from that, you'll get the gradient of line 1. Now you could put a statement, first of all, something like this. Gradient of line 1, using that suffix, times the gradient of AC is negative 1, which means the gradient of line 1 must be the negative of the reciprocal, for it to come to negative 1, which is 3 upon 2. That gets a mark. And then you can finish it off. So what's line 1 then? Well, y minus b would be mx minus a. Using which point? Because there's three points, make sure you pick the correct one. It's b, so I think I'll put a note there. So that I'm using 3, 1. And I'm using m as 3 upon 2. So y minus the y coordinate is the gradient. 3 upon 2 times x minus the x coordinate. Take that across and multiply. 2y minus 2 is leaving the 3. 3 times x minus 9. Okay, I'll just write that as 2y is 3x. Take that across, minus 7. So that's line 1. I'll give it a name. It's got a name anyway, but I'm going to call it yep, line 1. And that's the third mark. Now part B, another line. Line 2 is the perpendicular bisector of AB. Perpendicular, so it goes through at right angles. Bisector, so it cuts it in the middle. What's the equation of this line? So it's here then. I'll right, we'll give that point a name. That's the point M. So to get the equation of the line, you need two things on it. But notice one thing almost straight away. This line's vertical. So you don't really need to go through any of this. Vertical lines have got a very straightforward equation because you can't see anything about their y-coordinates, but their x-coordinates are always the same. The equation of that line is just going to be x equals wherever this cuts the x-axis, whatever the x-coordinate the point m is. But you have to find that first of all. What's the midpoint? What's the midpoint of AB? I'm going to call that m. So it's the average of the coordinates. Negative 5 plus 3, so it's the average of the x's. 1 and 1. which means the midpoint is the point negative 1, because that's negative 2 upon 2, negative 1, and that's 2 upon 2, 1. That gets a mark. Now the gradient, what's the gradient of this line? Well, you could say the gradient of that line is undefined, but you'll get it from this, though. Since it's perpendicular, you could take the same approach as this and say this. What's the gradient of AB? Now, I don't know if you really need to put any working down for that, because you can see that it's horizontal. But if you did, you would put this down. You'd say 1 take away 1 over 3 take away negative 5. And it doesn't matter what the denominator is. If the numerator is 0, that comes to 0. So the gradient of AB is 0. I think that's worth a mark. Now, what do you say next, though? So when it comes to, oh, I didn't give it its name, line 2. When it comes to line 2, well, you're not going to get a reciprocal of this because you can't divide by 0. So you could say it's undefined. But I think you'd probably get away with, not get away with, because it's better to say 
That means AB is horizontal, which means L2 is vertical. Vertical is, I would say, better than saying gradient undefined. L2 is vertical, in which case its equation is going to be x equals whatever the x coordinate of any point on it is, because all the x coordinates are the same, so x equals negative 1. That's worth a mark. So that was line 2. Let's call it 2 anyway. Now part C says determine the coordinates of the point of intersection of L1 and L2. Now this time the point of intersection is outside of the triangle. It would be the point that those lines projected would continue to. But it's a fairly straightforward one, that's why it's only the one mark. Because all I'm going to do is substitute 2 in 1. In which case this will read, equation 1 will read, 2y equals, and that says put x equals negative 1, 3 times negative 1 take away 7. So 2y equals, and that's negative 10, so y is negative 5. And we've already got that x is negative 1, so that means the point of intersection is negative 1, negative 5 for that mark.